In honor of Remembrance Day, the Royal BC Museum is sharing a collection of unique wartime mementos known as trench art. As the name implies, the pieces are made from materials found on the battlefield and often created by soldiers on the front lines of war. The practice became popular in the First World War and continued on for decades into the Second World War. Our ashtray here, it has bullets for feet, but this one's very personal. It was made and engraved to C.C. Luke, Alberni, B.C., from J. Bartlett, somewhere in France. I'm Paul Ferguson. I'm the History Collections Manager at the Royal British Columbia Museum. So a lot of what we have here today is trench art, soldier souvenirs, things that were brought back not only by soldiers, but by sailors and airmen. There's four types of trench art. We have trench art that's made by soldiers, trench art made by prisoners of war and internees, trench art made by civilians, and then there's a whole commercial market that was developed and carried on being made right up to 1939 during the time of the Second World War. This is the example of a casing that's filled with a charge that is fitted into the art artillery weapon. And when it fires, it launches this shell. And this timing fuse actually fits into the projectile. And the fuses are also turned into trench art. We have one commonly turned into an inkwell. This is the driving band on the projectile. These are removed and turned into things. This is a paper knife. It's a box from Ypres, been carved from the wood from uh, St. Martin's. And then within side of it, Ypres Cathedral, October to December 1917. They took something as devastating as artillery rounds and turned them into art to bring them home where they sat on mantles for years to come. To Elsie from Dad, I can't help but think of the connection to the people that are at home with this material. What are they thinking about? Are they thinking about Dad who may not have returned, a brother who may not have returned, a sister, a daughter who may not have returned? These are a legacy of family. This Week in History, brought to you by the Royal BC Museum, bringing British Columbia stories together.